You see, science explains marvelously, as Jeff pointed out. But the problem is that explanation comes at different levels. And people think that once they've got a scientific explanation, this is Hawking's view. He doesn't believe in God. Why? I quote, because there is a law of gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. I'm not going to point out the three levels of contradiction in that statement. But what he does is we've got a scientific explanation for something, therefore there's no God. But just a minute, why is the water boiling? Well, because the heat energy is agitating the molecules conducted through the kettle bottom, and that's why the water is boiling. No, it isn't. It's boiling because I'd like a cup of tea. <laughs> now, you laugh. Why? Because you see that those two explanations don't actually conflict or contradict. They're different kinds of explanation. One's scientific, the other's in terms of my volition, the volition of a personal agent. Now let me say this to you, and this takes a lot of the steam out of the argument for me. God no more conflicts with science as an explanation for the universe than Henry Ford conflicts with the law of internal combustion as an explanation for a motor car engine. Now, that's how I would start to approach this. I think there's a huge epistemological and intellectual confusion out there. And Hawking, Dawkins, and others insist the scientific explanation is the only one. And that's nonsense, because the law of gravity, even within science, the one thing it does not explain is gravity. I hope you realize that. Nobody knows what gravity is. And Newton realized that. The law of gravity is a wonderful help to calculate how to put someone in the moon without even Einstein. But it doesn't tell you what gravity is. And there's a huge myth out there that if you've got a scientific explanation, that's all you need. No, it is not. And therefore, I agree with your initial statement, Larry that science cannot, of its own methodology, and of course that's difficult to define, rule out the existence of God. I would want to go a lot further, but that can remain. I would want to show that science uh, actually gives us evidence of God.